Welcome, my name is Colleen Tauke and I'm a sewing specialist here at Fonz and Porter. In this so easy tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a hanging sleeve to your quilt. If you'd like to see more on this, you can visit our website and get directions there. We have um, a small quilt here on the sewing center and it's not co quite complete yet. You can see that I've got binding on one side and I've left the, I've got the binding in place on this side but it's not stitched to the back. These are the two points at which you can add a hanging sleeve to your quilt. So if you've got one already completed and at the last minute you said, I would really like to put that in a show, they're going to want you to put a hanging sleeve on your quilt. And it can be added after the binding is done. Um, I am also going to show you how to add a hanging sleeve um, in the process of putting your binding on. So we'll start with the um, with a finished one here because probably that's the time when you've decided at the last minute, oh, okay, I need to add that hanging sleeve. How do I make it? How do I put it on properly? Um, the, what we do here is we cut ours eight and a half inches wide and most places will require about a four inch sleeve. So once it's folded in half and the seam allowances come out, we're gonna have a four inch sleeve finished. We're gonna um, measure the length of our quilt. In this case, I'm making it just a little bit smaller so it fits right inside the binding and we'll go cover the entire um, edge of my quilt. We're taking both ends and we're turning it under a quarter inch twice and then we're going to seam along here so we have a nice finished edge. I've got one done here I can show you. So we've got quarter inch seam. Now a lot of times people will make a sleeve that will match the fabric of the back of your quilt but it doesn't have to. There's no rules against um, having a contrasting one. And once you've got your um, edges finished, in this case, you're going to take this two, um, straight piece and we're going to make a tube out of it. So what we're going to do is right sides together. We're going to do a quarter inch seam all the way along. We're going to take it to the ironing board and we're going to press the seam allowances open. And then we're going to turn the entire thing inside out. And I've got one here that is already turned. You see my seams are pressed flat and they're kind of lined up down the back side of the tube. You can see my finished edges for, for on each end. And then I've gone in and because when you put a hanging sleeve on you don't want your quilt to, to have a roll at the top, you want it to um, hang straight. We compensate for that by making the um, one piece of the hanging sleeve a little bit longer so in order to do that, I've gone in about a half an inch up from the pressed edge fold. I've put in a chalk line there and I'll show you how we accommodate then the pocket to be a little bit bigger on the top edge to accommodate a rod that would go through that. Now I would line this up on the back of my quilt and with a needle and thread then you would stitch the very top fold near the binding and I'm just going to pin this and we'll pretend that that edge is finished and stitched in place and then I can show you how to accommodate that fullness. Now the other thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to whip stitch down this edge here because you want the, the um, rod that goes through that to display your quilt to go inside the pocket and not against the back edge of your quilt. So you'll want to whip stitch along here just loosely and then you're going to stitch along this bottom fold but if you've got that half inch mark, that chalk line, you can see it right there. I'm going to fold this back to the chalk line and then that's where I'm going to be stitching. Take your stitches just into the backing fabric, not into the front of your quilt, but you want to just take your little stitches there right into that chalk line and then you'll have that extra fabric that will accommodate the hanging rod. If I were to stitch there, you would see that this is a little extra full and that way the front face of your quilt will hang nice and flat in the show or on the wall that you display it in your home. Now, if we're going to be working on putting the sleeve on before the binding is completed, we'll flip over to the other side of this example. Now, I've got my binding already on and I want to then put in the pocket on the back side. I'll flip this one back so you can kind of tell where quilt is and where the backing is. 
Now I've finished the edges, ends again. This time though, I'm just folding it in half, right sides on the outside. I've again marked my chalk line about a half an inch from the fold. I'm going to lay that on the back side of my quilt and I'm going to match the raw edges with the edge of my backing fabric. And then take a couple of pins and pin this in place through all the layers. And it seems a little backwards from where you're at. I'm going to lay this back. So this is now being held in place temporarily, kind of like basting. And now we can come in and stitch again right over the top of where you've applied your binding and that will hold the pocket in place. Now if I were to just drop these pins in and we'll simulate this being stitched in place, you can see that as you finish your binding, the whole top edge of your pocket now is in place. So I would roll my binding to the back like I normally do, up over that edge, and now I, I'm just going to be putting my binding in place, but I don't have to stitch the pocket because it's attached. Now the other thing, again, just like we did on the other example, is that chalk line there. I'm going to roll this back to the chalk line, and then you can take your needle and thread the same way we did the other pocket and stitch right along that, that little chalk line to adhere the hanging sleeve to the back of our quilt. Now if you're doing a small little um, wall hanging that maybe has a wire hanger, this can be reduced to about a four inch pocket fold in half and just be two inches wide to put on a very small quilt. So that's how you had and you add a hanging sleeve to the back of your quilt. Thanks for joining me. If you'd like to see more of our tutorials, please visit our website. Thanks for joining me today. Mm -hmm.